Hi, everyone. Just type a Y in the text chat if you can hear me. Yep, you do. Yep. Okay, everyone can hear me. Good. Well, welcome to this week's free webinar on learning how to perform a clearing on yourself, everyone. So I thought I would do this um, for this webinar just so you guys can learn the basics of energy clearing, how you can do it on yourself and others. So how's everyone feeling today? Unit's feeling good. That's good, Unit. Okay, so now without further ado, let's get into the webinar. So we'll first cover the importance of learning how to perform energy clearing. So why, why is this important? Because this way you won't need to rely on me or other shaman to give clearings when you're in trouble and when you have stuff going on. Because I'm sure you would all agree that it's not going to serve you or anyone else by relying on someone outside yourself to give you clearings. Because we do need someone, we do need someone to account to, to do clearings when we might miss something otherwise. But by and large, we want to be empowered in our own right and being able to do the clearings for ourselves as well. Because this, this is the greatness of it. It empowers you in your own right and it makes you strong inside and outside. And you'll also be able to do it for others. So not only for you, but you can also start learning how you can do it for other people as well. And it can be applied to every area of your life, for health, finances, career, mental, emotional, and all the others. It also keeps the dark spirits at bay and it keeps them from attacking you and doing all kinds of shit to you. And it manifests abundant health rather than illness, sickness, disease, and all that kind of shit. Because being sick, it's not a natural way of being and it's not part of the original blueprint. It also strengthens your connection with God and the light master. It also brings you back into your own energy space rather than absorbing everything around you and being so focused on the outside world and other people's stuff. It also releases any tension and tightness that you're storing in your body from being busy and being caught up with stuff of the world. And physical healings and events will manifest unexpectedly. So you'll, you may, you'll also find that you'll physically start to heal and, uh, events like manifesting a bunch of money or manifesting like the great partner or whatever will come manifest in your life just out of the blue. It, it also is like taking a spiritual shower every day and always maintaining your energetic health. So that's the truth. It is high maintenance doing the energy work, but it's very much worth it. It's far better than the latter option, which is to stop doing it. And then you have all kinds of dark spirits and shit going on in your life. So let's now learn the basics of energy clearing. So what are the basics of it? It first involves you quietening your mind and entering your heart space. So this is what you want. This is what you need to do first to quiet your mind and enter your heart space. And you do this by going somewhere quiet, so out in nature, meditation, an empty office, where, and wherever is quiet for you. And once you've found that quiet space, you then go into yourself and take deep breaths and really allow yourself to breathe. Because this relaxes your mind and it helps you to feel and discern rather than being stuck in here all the time and having it run a million miles per hour. So type a Y in the text chat if you have that problem sometimes where your mind is running a million miles an hour and it never seems to shut up. So Gail says, yep, yeah. so that was fast. And it's a very common problem amongst most people on the planet. You that why all the times. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and that's just it. When people get so wrapped up in their work and other distractions, then the mind does do that. It becomes monkey mind. Because the truth is we do need the monkey mind when we're doing day-to-day -day tasks and doing more physical kind of work. 
but what but when it comes to energy clearing a fast mind is the last thing that you want and you'll then start to feel what's going on inside and you don't have any distractions to stop that because when we whenever we have a distraction in the way then that's that's how that's when we won't be able to feel so distractions can be anything it can be work it can be watching tv or it can be numbing yourself or alcohol drugs and sex overeating it can be anything like that as soon as we engage in any kind of excess that's when we'll fall into trouble and that's how we stop feeling and as you start to feel into yourself that's when the ritual comes in because by doing this you're setting up a protective and light space so you've all seen it on these three webinars that before any clearing I do, I always do a ritual because that way it's setting up the protection and the light space and keeping any dark ones out of it. They will now show you step by step on performing this ritual. And step one, the first step is to call the in the divine protection and the bright white pyramid to surround you. So that's the first step. Second step is to call upon the five archangels. So Uriel, Gabriel, Raphael, Michael, and Metatron. And, uh, and it's important that you name them as you call them in, along with any other light masters that you feel led to call in. The third step is to command that only those who are aligned with the word of God and Christ consciousness to come forth. And the fourth step is to clear and repel any false spirit guides or negative energies outside interferences or anything else which are related. So that's the ritual. Now performing the clearing. Once the ritual and protection is set up, you're now ready to perform a clearing. And so you're now relaxed. You're in that state of mind. You've got the ritual protection set up. So you're now ready to do the clearing. And you say out loud, it is commanded by the laws of the golden liquid realms and our chemical powers that X or whatever it is that you need cleared, be cleared from me on all chakras, all dimensions, and in the best way possible now. Asia in Padoi. This means so it is spoken, so it is done for those curious. So, so this command is just a general outline. It's so I've created this to give you like a starting point here. And it takes practice, but the more specific you are when, with what you're clearing, the more powerful your experience will be. So it's important that you're very specific in what you're clearing from yourself. And you also need to be willing and committed to deal with your blockages and attachments. Because when you're half-hearted about it, the truth is you'll go nowhere. Because energy work has no middle ground. You're either in or out. So you need to be all in if you're going to do this. Because you, remember, the light masters have a, uh, know if your heart is in it or not. And if you're half-hearted, then you may as well not do it. You may as well go into your own kind of world or um, well, and whatever until you're ready for it. Okay, so does anyone have any questions or comments before we do a clearing here? You don't know, all good. Gail, all good, thanks. Yep, so no questions or comments. <coughs> okay, so. So now, because we're teaching you how to perform a clearing, what we'll be, what I'll be doing now is creating this space for you guys to do the clearing on yourselves. So what you, so now just type in the text chat, if there's anything particular that comes to mind for clearing today, just type that in the text chat. Gail, negative feelings about self. Yes. Um, unit tension in body in several parts okay so <clears throat> so what i'll even do is throw you in a bit of a deep end here so so who's so who here is brave enough to actually do the clearing the, on the, today's webinar 
and of course I'll I'll guide you through it. I'll I'll be guiding you. But does anyone want? To, is anyone up to doing that? Because what I'll do then is give you the mic and then get you to mainly do it, and with me guiding you. Because there's no better way to learn than going straight first in the deep end. Unit, I'll do it. Well done, Unit. Okay, I'll just unmute you now. Yeah, so you've got the mic now, Unit. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. <laughs> okay. Um, do I start from the beginning, as you explained? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. um, so, so now what? So what you'll want to be doing is you get everyone to inhale the code into their chakras and their aura. Everyone, focus on the code and inhale it to your chakras and auras. Yeah, and then get them to just imagine it there and to close their eyes and take deep breaths. Imagine this code um, in your in in your body. Take deep breath mm. and let it um, flow through you. And that, yep, and just allow, uh, just give them a minute or so to just relax their mind. So now call in the divine protection and the bright white pyramid to surround you and everyone here. And now we call in the bright light protection and the crystalline pyramid um, over our head to protect ourselves. And now I'll call in the five archangels. We call in the, the five archangels of Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, Raphael, and Metatron to protect us and guide us today. Do you feel to call anyone else in or just them? We call in Mother Mary's her love and protection also. Yeah. So now I'll just command that only those who align with the word of God and the Christ consciousness to come forth. We command that only those who are aligned with the um, Christ word of God, the word of God, Christ consciousness, and the mm. law of Melchizedek to be present here. And all false spirits who are not aligned with the, um, with the Christ consciousness to leave now. All right, so now I'll just do the command and uh, just so might just do the command and do the clearing on yourself and what you so what you said in your comment and also what Gail said and and just do it, it like a general clearing. So do I command um, the false spirits to leave or um, 
Oh no, you went. You already did. You already did that. Yeah. So, so, so now, so now, what we'll be doing? The, the ritual and the protection is set up now. So okay. now you're ready to do the clearing. So yeah. So so what you'll do first is yeah, just command, do the command for the clearing of your tension and of Gail's negative feelings about herself, and then just do a general clearing over everyone here. Um, I command that all the tension in my body leaves from my shoulders. So what, what, I'll act, what I'll do even is bring up the command, make it easier. Okay. So what's highlighted here? Oh yes, this one. Okay. Um, it is commanded by the laws of the golden liquid dreams and alchemical powers that um, should it be cleared for uh, so the tension be cleared from me? I don't know if this doesn't make sense to me. Okay, I don't know. Um, so, I'll, yeah, so I'll, so I'll guide you here. So oh, it, okay, is, thank you. it is commanded by the laws of the golden liquid realms and our chemical powers. And just so, just repeat it after me. Yeah, it is commanded by the laws of the golden and liquid realms and alchemical powers that 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 unit be cleared um, of any tensions in her body in several parts. That unit be cleared of any tensions of my body in several parts. And clear any negative feelings from Gail about herself. And clear any negative feeling from Gail about herself. And we now clear. And we now clear. Any negative blockages. Any negative blockages. Imprints. Imprints. Or self sabotages. Or self sabotages. Or anything else related. Or anything else related. From each person here. From each person here. On all chakras. On all chakras. All dimensions. All dimensions. And in the best way possible for them now. And in the best way possible for them now. To Asia. In Tadoi. Tadoi, yes. And after you say the to Asia and Tadoi, just take a deep breath. And as the clearing is happening, just uh, just feel into your left hand. You'll feel energy going through it. And so once the energy has stopped in there, then that's when the clearing is finished. That's when you know it's finished. Another important part of the clearing unit is like, as it's happening, you're, you're, you're continuing to feel into it and to discern what's going on with the group, with the group and with everyone in it. Okay. So right now, do you feel anything else coming up at the moment? So, so it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be anything big, just even if it's something small. I just feel the energy still flowing through me. It's quite, still quite um, intense. Yeah. Yeah, that, that does happen because you're, as you're clearing, you're being like that channel, you're being an outlet for people to release their stuff. But isn't my stuff that's in me affect the flow of energy if it's coming through me? Well, it's the, well the, this is the beauty of clearing because when you're doing the clearing, it's also clearing you. Mm. So you're not only clearing the group, but it's also clearing you at the same time.
Yeah, so the, yeah, the main thing is, yeah, when you're clearing, to really be feeling into it and really allowing it to filter through. Yeah, I, I've told I've told you before, right, that um, I've physically vomited at times from it. Yeah. Well, it's, it's not that bad today. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, because at the moment, I myself am I'm feeling dark and negative energies and some curses as well for in the group here. See, I, I don't feel that. I just feel that the energy is quite erotic and, and yeah, it's, it's not smooth like a, a river, like a smooth river. It's yeah, so, so we, want, we want to clear that then. So exactly. yeah, so now we'll just con we'll, we'll continue as it is. So just repeat after me again. So so just say now we now clear. We now clear. And scramble. And scramble. Any erratic and chaotic energies. Any erratic and chaotic energies. From each person here. From each person here. And also clear out any dark or negative energies. And also clear out any dark and negative energies. And any curses. Any curses. And bring the calmness into each person here. And bring the calmness into each person here. Bring them into balance. Bring them into balance. We now pour in the golden liquid light. We now pour in the golden liquid light. And send in the love from the Father and the higher councils. And send in the love from the Father and the higher councils. And the higher mother. And the higher mother. <laughs> I still don't feel it calm, William. It's still very erratic. It's probably me because I'm a bit nervous. No, that's okay. I mean, uh, nervous. That's that's very that's natural when you're put on the spot like this, you know. <laughs> yeah, I remember how nervous I was when I first started doing them on here on these webinars. So yeah, I do commend you. You're very brave for doing this. Yeah, so well done. Thank you. So you don't have to worry about like looking silly or whatever because it's a safe space here. Mm. And uh, it's and there's no right or wrong answer like in school. Yeah. It no. Was, it, yeah, it was great to do together with you because um it's yeah you, your guidance and and help and also you then feel the energy as well what i feel and um and your feedback is great to to sort of put me at ease or give that confidence that yes that i i yeah that i feel what i feel yeah. mm. <clears throat> just to trust that feeling Yes, because yeah, when you when you first start, then it will be like that. You're unsure, and you're just kind of walking through the, the you're walking through the process. But that's the beauty of practice. The more you do it, the more natural it becomes. Because of course, there's still there's still a few things that we need to polish, like with the clearing. But otherwise, you did pretty good for your first time.
Okay, so now I feel the clearing is finished. So now, what about you? Yeah, I feel calmer now. I feel the energy calmed. And it has a more steady flow to it. Yes. <clears throat> and what's important after every clearing is finished is to come back into your own energy now. So come back into yourself and cut any cords that between you and each person here, because well, whenever you do clearings on someone, then you, then the cords get created just naturally. So you always want to be cutting them after every set healing session that you do. Yeah. Nice. So how do you, what's the procedure of cutting the cords? So that one, so that one, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. So we're, but first you come back into yourself and then you'll just say, you can say something like, so I now command that any cords created between me and each person here is now cut and severed. And then, yeah, just uh, cut, then just cut and sever the cords, even with your hand. You can even use your hand to physically do it. Yeah. I command that any cords that created here, this, within me or with me or in between me and each person here be cut and sewed now <clears throat> yes and then also imagine golden liquid light filling you because you've used a lot of your energy to like do the clearing so you want to make sure that you're always filling your cup up and make and making sure you're re-energizing because otherwise you'll just it'll leave you drained. And can you say to Asia and to Doi after cutting the cords to say that uh, it's done? Uh, yeah, uh, yes, you can. Yeah, okay. you can do that if you like. It sort of came to me to say that after I did the cord cutting. Yeah. Yes. So if it comes to you, then you say it. So every cord is cut and surveyed now for Asia and for the life. Okay, so now what, what you do now is ask everyone how they felt with the clearing. How is everyone feeling after the clearing? How do you feel, William, after this clearing? Yeah, I feel good. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually, I actually feel, I actually do feel lighter. Oh, great! <laughs> I do yeah. too, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I was, I was, I was kind of, I was kind of tired when I first started, but now I, I feel more picked up. That's good to hear. Yeah. Yeah, so I feel more shining. <laughs> oh, you, yeah, you are shimmering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Gail's just commented too, by oh. the way. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, you can't see it, but no. I mean, I, I, I can. She said more knowledgeable and happy. Yes, I can tell you to everyone who's here that if I was brave enough to do this, then anybody, but I mean anyone, should feel confident and brave enough to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, because I was really nervous. I did a few times leading our daily meditation or energy clearing group, but um, yeah, I was very nervous. So I got a little bit of practice there, but still um, doing, yeah. it with, doing it with you, William, was a bit even more scary because you've been doing this for so long. And, yeah, it can be scary if some if you're doing it with someone who's done it a long time. Mm -hmm. But the great thing is, you, but you don't even need to be nervous because when you've been doing it a long time, then it, then it, the more that people like me know that you need that guidance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But but yes. So I mean, it's like I mentioned before. So there's still a few things that need to be polished for you. But otherwise, you did you did pretty good for your first time today. Mm. 
Thank you. And Gail also said that you did very well this morning, a beautiful energy created. Yes, that was sort of planned, not put on the spot, so it went better. Um, yeah. Mm. But, okay. but I, do, I do feel that with practice, I am getting better. Well, that, that's the best way to get better is to practice and doing it more and more. Because, it's, well, it's like I mentioned earlier. So, I mean, the more, so the more you practice, the better you get. Yeah. And you, with energy work, you're either all in or all out. Yeah. So you can't, so for this kind of work, you can't be half-hearted about it. Yeah, that's, that's true, yes. And well, that's the beauty with you, though. I can see that you're not half-hearted. You're all in. That's well, why that's why you're getting the results. Yeah, that's the only way to, you know, that's that's why I'm in here because I want to do it wholehearted and not half-hearted. As you yeah. say, it's in, impossible to do it half-hearted, and it's not no, it's it's no reason to do it half-hearted. You might as well not no. do it at all. No, if you if you don't if you don't like it, you don't like it. Mm. You 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 do what what you do what you need to do. So, yes, yeah, so now that the clearing is done and all, now you just need to make sure that everyone has a glass of water to integrate the clearing. So you Every just get, yep, get everyone to have a glass of water. Yeah. Everyone, please have a glass of water after the clearing to um, help to integrate this healing. And have a good rest and sleep in the next couple of days. Hey, yeah, you're picking up on my phrases. <laughs> yeah, I heard it enough, William. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I guess when you keep drumming it into people, then they start to get it after a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Yes. And Gail said thank you. Yeah. Okay, so now, so now I myself, I'll now hand back to myself so is there does anyone have any questions or comments before we end for today any final questions or comments gail appreciate being able to be a part of this yeah th yeah thanks gail yeah i mean uh, it's certainly great to be a part of this energy clearing it's awesome you did, it was really good to do this with your guidance, William. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. And I, I quite enjoyed that myself, just guiding you there. Because it's been a while since I've guided someone like that with the healing. <laughs> so yeah, thanks, Unit. Thanks for being brave enough to step up onto the plate. And Catherine, thank you both. Yep, yeah, thanks, Catherine. So, so again, everyone, make sure you drink plenty of water, get a good sleep tonight allowed to integrate and uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.